Hello, this is Susie the Music Lady back again, and this time I wanted to share with you some basic skills when it comes to breathing. Breathing is very important whenever you are singing. If we don't have breath, we cannot sing. So, what you need to do is, first is to learn how to control your breath. You know, we go around our days breathing like we do without thinking. If our heart rate is up, typically our breathing is up. If our heart rate is down, typically our breathing is down. But whenever you are a musician, you have to learn to control your breath. Again, I recommend doing yoga. Yoga helps you to control your breath. Um, there are many different ways of breathing apparently in yoga and it's very exciting. Um, and those things are very useful whenever you are a singer or a musician who plays a wind instrument. So let's talk about breath control. <laughs> All right, so number one, we have deep breathing versus shallow breathing. This is a problem that I encounter very often, especially with people who are just learning how to sing. Um, your voice is either going to sound weak or airy if you don't have the correct breath support. Your voice will also sound pushed if you're using the incorrect way of supporting your sound. So, the solution is to learn how to breathe deeply. Typically what we do whenever we are breathing is it is, it's, it's shallow breathing. It's just, we think our lungs are here, therefore this is what I need to fill in order to breathe. <sighs> like that. But that's not good breathing for singers. If you're, you're encouraging strain, you're encouraging tension, and those are not good things for singers. So what you wanna do instead is breathe in deeply. So I highly encourage that you work on breathing in through the nose and you're filling up your belly with air, not just your lungs, but your whole carriage of air. Okay, so you'll breathe in through your nose and out through the mouth. Okay. Now, the more that your belly expands, the better of a job that you're doing whenever you are breathing deeply instead of breathing shallowly. So those are the things that you need to look for and watch out for and feel for whenever you're learning how to breathe to become a good singer. Okay, number two, breathing over counts. This is a great warm up that you can do to get yourself focused, get your brain focused on controlling your breath. So what do you do? You breathe in to your, through your nose for four counts, and then you breathe out through your mouth for four counts, like this. Now that's a very short example. You can of course expand how many beats, extend how many beats that you breathe in and breathe out. And you can see how far you can get. This is a great exercise for learning how to control your breath. Second thing is panting. I know it sounds ridiculous and it looks ridiculous and it is ridiculous, but panting is a great way to uh, engage your core, okay? So if I'm going <laughs> like that, I'm shallowly breathing. But if I'm going like this, then I'm doing more deep breathing, more deep panting. And that is a great way to engage this part of your breathing apparatus. <laughs> Number four, the last thing is leaky tire. Leaky tire is one of my favorite things. This goes along with breathing over counts. So with this one, instead of breathing out, what you do is you hold a for as long as you can over as many counts as you can, okay? 
So these are some great skills for you to do whenever you are first learning how to breathe like a singer. Thanks. Bye.